What's up everybody and welcome along to the Leicester City fan preview and I am joined by the one and only Mr. Lee Chappie. I swear, Lee, I swear to God I almost said Jamie Vardy. I'm not even messing. Uh, I nearly said Jamie Vardy. <laughs> the amount of people that are going to say that anyway in the chat, mate, is normal. Well, I know, I'm I know you for years. I, I know, never I know. My head. I know, I know. I'm sorry. It's just, it is what it is, mate. I, I, I think I need to make some sort of, maybe a pot, right? Uh, I've been saying it for a while. A pot, every time someone calls me Vardy on a stream, I should just chuck a quid in it for charity or something and see how much yeah. we can earn at the end of the year. It'd be great. It'd be a great idea. I think we need to do it. But I need to get some money out at first if I'm going to do it. I'll do I'll do it on my side for BTEC Goldbridge and we'll be both loaded by the, end, <laughs> by the end of the year. We'll be loaded. Shall we get into it? Shall we get into Let's... the Battle of the Walking Wounded? Yeah, let's dig in. Let's dig in. Right, so we've gone through my preview and, uh, of course, half the players that I thought might be available weren't available. So it's looking like Fabinho, unfortunately, is out for our end for a couple of weeks. It's looking like Thiago hasn't trained all week, might not play. Um, we could have Kabak coming in for his debut. But look, I know we have air problems, but it's not looking great on your side either, Lee. And it's not, mate. Um, I'll, I'll put him behind me. There you go on screen. James Justin, unfortunately, was injured during the FA Cup clash between Brighton, the, which we won 1-0 and went through to the quarters against Man United. We've been dreaming with uh, Craig. Uh, hopefully we can beat them. Um, but uh, James Justin, uh, breaking news, ACL. He's tore his ACL. He's going to be out for probably the same sort of period as Ricardo Pereira was. Uh, nine months is a is a long, probably, term injury. So, ah. Uh, well, look, we mate, honestly, mate, we, we wish him a speedy recovery. We, know, we know on mate. our side what it's like as well about having Van Dyke and Gomez. And I think the quickest person ever back, if I remember correctly, one of the quickest ever back was Buffon from an ACL. I think he was back in like three months or something ridiculous mm. like that. Now, obviously, outfield players probably. Yeah, goalkeeper, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a bit different. But yeah, look, on, on behalf of all of us, mate, we wish him a speedy recovery. You never like to see a player get near, especially a young Big player play. like that with yeah, the Euros yeah. around the corner. Yeah. And Exactly. So from your side, what are what are you expecting from this? Are you nervous about the twelve thirty kickoff? Because I know what we are. Uh, I don't. I'm, I'm not so nervous about the time of the. It's where it is. It's at the King Power, and the King Power. We're, we're not great at the King Power this season. We've lost some weird games. We've lost Fulham. Uh, and got absolutely battered by West Ham. Completely annihilated in every position of the park. I, I don't think we deserved even the ball, let alone a goal in that game. Um, it's been poor at the King Power. Something's got to change. Something's got to. Some, something's got to give. Unfortunately, we've got other injuries as well. I know you, you boys are, are missing a lot of players, but we're missing Wesley Fafana, who's also a star man at the back at the moment. Wesley Fafana breaking the scenes. Uh, Dennis Pratt, a Belgium international, who's a great squad player, rotational player. He's out as well. Uh, Timmy Fixtania, Belgium international as well. Uh, one of our fullbacks. He's not there as well. So we're a little thin uh, in terms of uh, experienced players. Unfortunately, Perez took an injury during the Brighton game as well in the FA Cup so he's out as well and uh, backup centre back Wes Morgan the uh, the granddaddy of the uh, of the squad he's also out too very thin very thin squad Greg it's um do you know if it doesn't get the plaudits for you lads uh, and I think we've talked about this uh, Mark Albrighton just does not get say, the, I knew it. just I knew get it. the plaudits he deserves for the work he gets through in that Leicester team when he comes he, on or when he's yeah. when he's used. Yeah, he needs to play Mark. Uh he needs to play him. Mark Albrighton needs needs to be played. He needs to be played because you've got one hell of an engine down that side. You've got Robertson and you've got Mane. Uh I think we're gonna need someone that can go for a full 90 and never run out of stamina. And that's Michael Bryan. He is one hell of an engine. And uh, I'd say he's very underrated. I'm surprised he didn't get some form of, of a cap, maybe during the, uh, when we won the Premier League, I'm surprised he didn't get a, at least a cap for England, at least a one. For five minutes, 33 seconds today, till Lee brings up Leicester winning the Premier League. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, I knew because you said that on the last one, so I thought, I'd yes, the game t tomorrow morning, and it is morning to me. I don't, I don't buy into this afternoon stuff. What are you <laughs> expecting? I mean, we're both. <laughs> let's be fair, we're both in a battle for top four right now, as things stand. There's, there's no, yeah, yeah. There's no point me sitting yeah. here telling lies. That's the yeah. truth. Yeah, um, both have serious aspirations for it, and you know, for us, it should be a minimum, and it will be a minimum, hopefully. But for for you guys, what would you take from this, Lee? What are you expecting from tomorrow? Because you've often said to me that when Leicester have been in great veins of form and when we've rocked up, you've frozen at times. You've been the first one to say that to me, like a rabbit yeah. in headlights. Yeah. I don't expect to see that from Leicester tomorrow. We have a terrible record at Anfield anyway uh, throughout you know, our, our club's history. As We've got a poor one at Old Trafford. I think it's these big stadiums. The players must uh, go, ooh, this is nice, and look up. Um, 
I, I don't know. I think at the minute, Liverpool are, sorry to say, it, they're for the taking at the moment with some of your results. I know there have been home results for you. Your away performance has been a lot better. In general, the Premier League away performances so far, I think all around have been better, right? The teams that are playing at home haven't got no advantage anymore with, with no fans. Uh, and uh, away teams can just play. So I am a little bit worried. It's hit the king power. You boys are coming. Uh, it's 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 difficult to say. You've got a lot of injuries. I think you've lost that central spine that you boys uh, rely on. I mean, what's happened to... Is it Naby Keita? What's happened to him? Where's he gone to? So, Naby's had a whole string of injuries, a lot of uh, muscle injuries, a lot of breakdown of his body. So, the club and the medical department are trying to basically build up his his core strength and his, his muscles to be able to cope with the rigours of the Premier League to stop this breakdown because he's not been able to get a run of games together and just when he starts to look like the nabby that we all thought we were getting unfortunately he keeps picking up knocks so the club are just playing the long game here trying to get him right yeah because I think if I remember right he had a a pretty good game against Leicester when he did play out at Leicester was it a year I think it was probably about a year ago right oh mate he's a quality footballer when he gets the opportunity he's the perfect eight and a half as I like to call him like he's 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 excellent in that position between the the midfield and the attack and with no Van Dyke as well, uh, once you have a problem in that spine area, um, which we've had as well when we lose like the central, which was Ndidi, Leicester have won far more games with Ndidi on the field than without. So once you lose that key man in the middle, somewhere in that pitch, if it's at the top, at the back, in the middle, no matter where it is, it affects the whole team. And you, that's where your problem is, I think. You've had to fill in roles with Henderson playing at centre-back and stuff. It's like... Ooh. So... We've got to we've got to take advantage of that. We've got to. And I think with Ndidi, Tielemans, Madison and Vardy playing against that area where you're missing players, I think that's where we really need to go at. We need to go for. So I'm fully yeah. expecting us to actually start tomorrow with two centre backs. I know that sounds a bit weird, but I'm I'm fully expecting Kabak and Nat Phillips or I'd say, I'd say Kabak. There is an outside chance it could be Kabak and Henderson. We know Fabinho's out for a few more weeks. So I'd like us to go with Kabak and Nat Phillips and let's just push Henderson into midfield. And and Because Henderson offers that protection to Trent as well, which a lot of teams, and I'm sure you guys, will target their right, our right-hand side. It's been done by a lot of teams because Trent bombs forward a lot. Robertson's a bit more calculated in his bursts forward. He he cuts inside a lot more, whereas Trent likes to try and get around the outside more often. So if we can move Henderson into midfield, he's a much better security blanket, for want of a better term, when, for when Trent goes forward. So I'm hoping we see Hendo in midfield from our side. Yeah, uh, it's the wings that you need to attack, definitely. Because like I just said, all we've got is Ricardo Pereira. And, and when I say all we've got, Ricardo Pereira is one hell of a right back. However, he's been out for nearly a year of football. How does that affect a player in terms of match fitness and just your form? Yeah, you have to, as a player, you build form, don't you? And your I belief don't... in your own body as well when you're out that yeah. long. How, how exactly. hard will you push? Exactly. Do, do you pull in, uh, you know, do you pull out of tackles and stuff? Is that always in the mind? Oh, if I do it again, if I do it again. So he's only had one full 90 minutes as a senior player again since his return, which was only a few weeks ago. So he's the only really fullback that we have. You know, you've got Christian Fuchs, whose his legs are gone. I wouldn't like him on the left against Salah right now. Um, I know you've got uh, Luke Thomas, which is a very young lad. Um, he's a Leicester's uh, academy product. Uh, I, I don't fancy a kid going on at left back either against Salah, but we've got no other options. We have no other options. So that is it. That's what we've got. So that's where that's where you boys should attack is the wings definitely. And so how are you? How are you expecting right. Rogers to line you guys up? Um, I mean, I, I've made up a lineup for you. If you want to see that, uh, I put that up uh, together. I don't know if you can wipe that full screen or not. Uh, yeah, one second. There you go. Um, so this is what we did on the prediction show. I do this on the channel quite a lot, uh, where we, it, as a as a chat, put the team together. And this is what we've got left. Uh, we've gone for Luke Thomas at the left and Ricardo right, like I said. Suyon Chu's just returned from a three month uh, injury as well um, to a, uh, I think it was a tear in the abductor muscle. And Johnny Evans as well, having a problem with his vision, blurred vision or something. So 
it could be it could be a nightmare at the back for us. Uh, and Didi and Tielemans, you've got to play Tielemans at the moment. He's well, probably, if not next to James Justin, is the best player we have in the squad. James Madison sitting above uh, them two and Vardy up top with Harvey Barnes, who's give or take on par with Mane this season. I know Mane's not having the best season. You'll probably get onto that in a second, Craig. Um, and uh, Marco Brighton, like I just said, we've got to play Marco Brighton with, for the energy down that side. Interesting. I mean, looking at it there... Let me just get back, bring it back up full screen for a sec. Looking yeah. at it there, Lee, it's, um, I do like Harvey Barnes. You know that. I'm a massive fan of that kid. He's, he's a wonderful yeah. footballer, having a great season. And uh, yeah, you're right, Matt. I mean, none of our front three are, are you know, setting the world alight. Mohamed Salah will still bring in 20 Premier League goals this season, which would be fantastic. But yeah, yeah, I mean, it's a strong team, Lee. It's as strong as you can go. So, aren't you, well, by the way, has been a masterstroke by bringing yeah. that lad in? He is, he is. I can't believe he was sat on the bench for a year when we had Aaron Maguire and then we sold him. And, and you know, it, it's just mad that with what we've built, I'll show you that in a second, what we've built with Harry Maguire's money. Um, the only thing that I think Rodgers could do is to, to deal with um, your attack would be to, to take Thomas off, right? We'll go with a back three. So you pull Johnny Evans over, go see C- C- and in the middle and pull Ricardo over a bit. And then what we do is we move Tillemans forwards. We go Madison a little bit as well. And we pull on Hamza Chowdhury and have two holding roles because you boys hate Chowdhury because he's so intense and he nearly broke. I mean, he, he broke Salah in two nearly at one point. I know you hate that, but for us, that's what I kind of need is someone that will go in for the challenges and get the ball. And Hamza Chowdhury is one hell of a, one hell of a CDM. With two on the pitch, I think that would help big time in defence. I would rather have this than four at the back, personally. But I don't know. We could play with that. Thoughts? Interesting. Um, yeah, it's just about making sure you have enough width, I suppose, if, you, if you're going to tuck them in that much. Where do, you, where do you get your width from then moving forward? Like, you've already got a back three there with your two CDMs bringing your back five. So, it, it, you'd be putting a lot, asking a lot. But, you know, for me... I'm just wondering, is the onus on you guys to go out there and get the win this time? Because, mm. I mean, we need something from it. I'm not going to lie, Lee. Like, we can't leave the King Power without any points. I mean, three on the loss at home. It's not yeah. great for us. And I don't know what Liverpool's going to show up tomorrow. I mean, I struggle. I've gone back and forth all week with my score prediction because I quite frankly don't know which which one of our teams are going to show up. I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to find the uh, the last few games for Leicester's uh, scores at the King Power and uh, and that might give you a bit of hope because it, to be honest with you it's not been great at the King Power. Let me just have a quick look at what I know we beat Brighton obviously in the FA Cup, but when, forget forget Cup. Let's talk about Premier League. Uh, the, we lost three one against Leeds at home, uh, and then we we beat Chelsea two 0 We beat Southampton two 0 Before that we. Uh, Man United was 2 2. Uh, we lost to Everton at home 2 0. We've beat Brighton 3 0. What's that feel like, by the way? Losing to Everton, I, I can't remember the feeling. <laughs> you, you love it, Craig. You love I it. I do love that. You I love do that. love that. I any, have any, to say, I any opportunity to banter the blue side of uh, <laughs> of Scousland, <laughs> any, any oh, chance. Mate, I, I go full on <laughs> Richarlison on Thiago when I get the opportunity to the Blues fans. That's what I do. <laughs> full on Richarlison on Thiago. Lee, I would love to keep chatting, mate, but I know that you've got uh, a young daughter that needs taken care of downstairs, yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah, it's. Yeah. Always a pleasure to have you on. And hopefully, look, we'll catch up, I'm sure, next week after the game and have a little chat and see how we got on and, and let one of us brag. Or maybe it's a draw and we both get to have a well, little boast. yeah, I might even jump into your chat if we're winning or losing and, and whatnot tomorrow because I'll be doing the watch-along too. We're both both doing watch-along, so that's uh, going to be an interesting thing. Absolutely. And look, buddy, may the best team win. Yeah, may the best team win, whatever team's left of these both of these uh, great good sides. Yeah. Not many Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to jump over, subscribe to Lee Chappie's channel. The link's in the description. As you can see, he's a top guy. Does a great watch along as well. And you'll be seeing a lot more of him on Mundo Sport. Oh, Lee, it's always a pleasure, mate, to catch up for a chat. Lots of love to you and the family. And uh, yeah, may the best team win tomorrow, my friend. Uh, mate, I appreciate it. Keep on with the good work. Honestly, you, you're getting all over the place. I think it was on the radio the other day. I, I, I was literally like, what? Well, that's Craig. So yeah, you're doing some you're doing some bits now, mate. So keep going, keep plugging away. Ignore the haters. Haters are just uh, just fans. 
trust me, they're just fans for attention. Cheers, buddy. Appreciate that. And uh, look, let's see where we all are in a year's time. Hopefully, we're uh, we're all at this full time in a year's time. Lee, as always, mate, enjoy it. Love to the family and have a cracking weekend, my fella. And you, pal, take care. Bye-bye.